Okay, welcome back. You made it to the desktop, congratulations. Some of you may have been successful in the first attempt, second, third, fourth. As for myself, it took several attempts, but I was able to finally install Mac OS Sierra 10.12 via the UniBeast thumb drive. Before we go further with a post installation, you want to back this drive up, so make a clone of it at its current state, so that way if there's any issues after our post installation, you can just simply restore it from that clone and not have to go back and use UniBeast to go through that installation process again. So let's go ahead and uh, launch our browser. Let's go to Tony Mac x86.com and if you don't have an account with them you need to log in and create one or create an account and then um, you'll be able to download so let's go to downloads all right and we want sierra multibees multibees for sierra 9.1.0 so let's go ahead and download that and that shouldn't take too long Gonna let that chug for a moment. All right, let's go ahead and quit our browser. And let's launch Motivis Sierra Edition. Okay. All right, it's gonna start out. Uh, let's go to quick start. And let's choose UEFI boot mode. This is for uh, more of the modern boards that are UEFI compatible. If you have an older motherboard, you can go with the legacy boot mode, but uh, for us, we're gonna go ahead with this UEFI boot mode. Drivers, audio, do not touch it. I repeat, do not touch it, it does not work. Um, I have another video where I will uh, show you how to get your onboard audio to work. Um, I have the Rotec ALC 1150, and it's um, not working with the multi-beast installation, so I will not do that. Your system may work. And one note, the Voodoo HDA version 2.8.8, that actually does work, but it is noisy. Your front um, headphone port is very noisy, as well as the uh, rear jack of your chassis. So not going to do that at the moment, but we'll move on to disk. Third-party SATA. Third-party eSATA. Intel generic AHCI SATA. All right. Let's go to miscellaneous. Uh, fake SMC, this is absolutely essential to get your system to actually boot up, and that's why it is uh, ch checked or selected by default. Fake SMC plugins and fake SMC hardware monitor. So this is uh, the application that will look at your CPU temperature, the fan speeds, and uh, system-related uh, um, equipment and things like that. Okay. Null CPU power management. This disable Apple's uh, power management system because it is not always compatible with Hackintoshes. So you can select this. Um, some people said they have issues regarding shutting down and starting up and uh, basic operations, but this seems to work for me. So I'm going to go ahead and check that. Voodoo TSC Sync. I have a six core processor, so I'm going to go ahead and check that. USB. All right. Third party USB 3.0. And 7 slash 8 slash 9 series USB support. I'll go ahead and check that as well. I have a Gigabyte GAX99 PSLI motherboard, so I believe that falls under the 9 series category. Increase max port limit. Uh, don't mess with any of those. I understand it can cause havoc on some systems or uh, make things a little goofy, so let's not deal with that. Bootloaders. Go with the Clover version 2.4K. R4063 UEFI boot mode, and that's what we're gonna go with. Customize this graphics configuration, do not worry about that. This inject NVIDIA, you don't wanna do that. Um, I have the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 970 um, NVIDIA graphics card and injecting NVIDIA will cause sort of havoc. So just go ahead and leave this stuff all blank and there's some things that we can do in our uh, property list, which I'll show you later in the video. SSD options, the Sandy Bridge overclocking, 
no need for it. And I was told it will work with other uh, processors, but um, I do not have a need for it. I have the uh, Intel Haswell uh, E processor, but let's go ahead and skip that. System definition, very important. Uh, you may be tempted to go for the uh, latest, greatest Mac Pro. Uh, do not do that. For it to work properly with Clover and Sierra, um, go ahead with this uh, iMac. 14 comma 2, this is the default, and this is what you can go with. You may possibly get this to work, 15 comma 1, but uh, this is the overall general one that will work, so let's go with that. All right, build. So give us a little summary of our build, and this is where you choose where it's going to go. And I recommend you save it before you do that, so let's just call it multi setup. And of course, you can call it whatever you want. And I'll just go ahead and save that to documents. Now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and install. Agree to the terms. Enter your top secret password. And that's going to run. It's going to install that. So I'm going to stop the video right here and we'll come back and take another look at this. Thanks. Okay, so install succeeded. The software was successfully installed. Alrighty, let's go ahead and quit that. 